DFDS and I, I had a, a detailed meeting with the uh, directors of that business uh, on Thursday. Uh, they are now getting uh, loads through to Boulogne within 24 hours and meeting the connections. They've been focusing on salmon and on simpler consignments for the West Country uh, over the last week. It is true that shellfish is a bit more complicated, uh, but provided they can get the right paperwork together, they are confident that they can get lorries to Boulogne within the 24-hour okay. time frame. I want, to bring, I want to bring Luke in. Teething problems? No, it's complete nonsense. These are teething problems. I, I, and I listened to George Eustace there feeling really, really sad and disappointed. There is genuine pain and economic misery being felt by fishing businesses from Shetland to Penzance. These aren't teething problems. These are system-wide issues with a new system that is inefficient, burdensome, expensive, and going to put our fishing industry at a material disadvantage. What I want from government at this point is them to acknowledge that this is a hugely complicated, burdensome system that's been created. It's going to be enormously difficult for fishing businesses. They should recognise that and then put in place the measures to help them. This ongoing confusion that we're seeing from ministers about whether their promises made repeatedly to coastal communities were dreams or not, just really, uh, it, it makes this so much harder for those people that work in fishing and in fishing communities to have trust and confidence in this government. Because what we're hearing uh, on this side of New Year was so very different from what we heard just a few weeks ago on the other side of New Year. And this is why I think we've got to demand better because grand promises have been made to the fishing industry, okay. huge promises, Luke, Luke, and they're not being Luke, delivered Luke, if now. I can just stop you there, Luke, 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 Luke if, 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 if you accept that there are substantive issues here with this system, the, the reality is, as John says, that this is an inevitable consequence uh, of us becoming a third party, leaving customs union and the single market. Now, your party's position is you voted for this deal, you won't re renegotiate the deal. So uh, Labour's position is you won't go back and unpick this. So what can you offer that's different to the industry than George and the Conservative government? Well, I think this was a was a poor deal, as something I said. Yes, but you've said you've accepted as a, as a party. My nose. But but the system wide issue matters here because the government's created this burdensome administrative system with nearly every system being a standalone. So the catch certificates, the the catch app, the export certificates, all speaking on different systems, not integrated together, being very difficult, often requiring data to be re-entered. It doesn't seem to work as a cohesive approach. And we've heard lots over many years about Brussels red tape, whether true or otherwise. This is homegrown conservative red tape that really should be ripped apart and started again, because the industry the ones that are, are using it every single day are telling us, they're telling us that this system is expensive, it's costly, it's losing them customers, and it's risking the entire sustainability of the, of the industry. Now, that's, that's warnings that I think those people in public life should be heeding, and that's why we need to see improvements in the way that uh, the uh, burdensome administration that the government's loaded on this industry Okay, adapted, George. A bit of honesty as well to fishers would okay. go a long way. Oh, as well. Okay, okay, thanks, George. If I can come.